Hello everyone. Welcome back to Chemistry 2487. In this series, we have been exploring solution for previous year's competitive exam papers. If you are new here, don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon for notifications. Let's see what is today's problem. So today we will going to take a question from IAC PST entrance exam 2009. As per this question, this substrate initially react with LDA and followed by two cyclohexenone that produce product A. This product A further react with in the presence of acid that produce product B. So here you see there are four options. Let's find out together which one is the correct option for this question. So our first reaction condition which involves the LDA. So LDA we have already discussed in our previous videos. If you missed that, don't worry. You can find the link in the description box below. So just a recap. LDA or lithium diisopropyl amide is a non-nucleophilic sterically hinted strong base that readily abstract the protons from acidic position in a molecule. In generally, LDA is useful for the generation of unilate ions by abstracting the protons from the less hinted side. You should note it down, less hinted side. Okay, let's come to the our substrate. So here you see our substrate. So here you see this position is acidic. Since this position near to the carbonyl carbon, and similarly, this methyl group also acidic because this position also present at the near to the carbonyl carbon. So apart from this, this particular substrate has one more acidic side. That is here because this side near to the nitro group. So nitro group, one of the powerful electron withdraw group, if you generate the ion, I mean especially carbon ion, that will be stabilized by nitro group. Okay, so here in our substrate has three acetic site. If you use LDA, which site will readily deportinate to produce this corresponding carbon ion? So for this, you just consider the pKa scale that will be helpful for prediction of which site is more acidic. So now you come to these two sites, these two sites pKa value approximately 20. When you come to this side, this side pKa value approximately 9. Okay, which clearly indicated that this site is more acidic when compared to these two sites. Therefore, when you use LDA, which readily takes the one of proton from this side to produce this corresponding carbon ion. So next you go for second step, which involves the reaction with two cyclohexenone. So here we should find that the structure of two cyclohexenone. So this is the structure of two cyclohexenone. So this two cyclohexenone going to react with our carbon ion. Here most of them, they will get some Confusion regarding that either react with 1,4 addition phason or 1,2 addition phason. But this reaction only undergo by 1,4 addition. For better understand, you just put the here. So oxygen will get delta negative. That means slightly electron rich because this center pull the electron from this carbon. So this center will get the delta positive and similarly, if you drive like this, so here delta negative, this position will get delta positive. That means this position is electron deficient. So now our carbon ion which readily attack this center, then followed by this pi electron shifted here, then this pi electron shifted towards the oxygen atom. That produce this corresponding intermediate. When you do workup that readily takes the proton, which produce this corresponding product. So particularly this reaction is called as Michael Addison reaction. 
so our next step which involves the reaction with acid so when you look this substrate and the presence of acid which readily undergo this type of a substrate aldol condensation reaction since there are two carbonyl groups along with having active methylenes so definitely that substrate could undergo by aldol condensation reaction however here one problem since so here you see this position is contains active methyl so here active methylene here also active methylene here also active methylene that means there are four active site when you treat the acid which side will get first enol then followed by condensation with near carbonyl carbon so that is a question right so first we will sort it out one by one so if you think about this methyl so go first with enol formation and followed by condensation reaction that may produce this corresponding strained bicyclic compound so instead of this methyl if you think about this methylene can possible to produce enol in the presence of acid and followed by condensation that would produce again strained bicyclic compound so instead of this methylene group if you think about this methylene that one also possibly to produce enolic form then followed by condensation reaction takes place to produce this corresponding bicyclic compound and similarly this methylene also could produce enolic form then followed by reaction with this carbonyl carbon that produce eight membered ring system so so among the possible four products in this reaction particularly this systems experience with less strain therefore this could be a most probably a correct answer for this question so particularly this reaction i already said this reaction is called as aldol condensation most importantly the reaction starts with a michael reaction followed by a intramolecular aldol reaction to give a alpha beta unsaturated compound those type of the reaction is called as a robinson annihilation reaction so as per our discussion so here you see there are four option among this four option the correct option for this question is answer 4 so that's it for your today's problem if you enjoyed this video please give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends and don't forget to subscribe and click the bell icon to stay updated with our latest videos and finally thanks for watching bye bye